Hey YouTube, wanted to show you guys how I make my PID controllers. Uh, basically this is a box that I get from Home Depot, a plastic electrical box. I'll take my Auburn's PID, drill a hole and mount it. These are stainless steel uh, drawer handles that I get. And then you can see the insides here. The wiring is fairly basic. Uh, the PID doesn't get any big wires, they're all small uh, 18 gauge wires. You have the sensor. The temp sensor goes to what is marked as TC, plus and minus, and the, the, ne the negative goes to the blue and the positive goes to the red. And then over here, you have the AC hookup, which is the first two. You have your, your white and your black, but I didn't have any white, so I used yellow. And then on these two, it is the output, which is the solid state relay drive on this one. Um, that's low voltage DC and that's a negative and a positive. So then that, those two negative and positive solid state relay controllers go to the negative and positive on the solid state controller, uh, relay controller. Um, and then from there, I'll go over the, the power coming in. So you have the, the three wires coming in, it's 12 gauge. Uh, so I have the green, the green just goes straight through to the outgoing cable. And then the white, same thing, but I'm tapping off the uh, yellow to feed the solid state relay power so it can run. And that really should be a white, once again. Um, and then the black one, that one gets interrupted. So it's gonna come in and it's gonna go through and then it's gonna go to the solid state relay. And then also I'm gonna tap off the black to once again feed power to power the um, to power the PID. So from there, the power goes into the solid state relay where it's interrupted when the power is not being supplied on the control side. And then when it is being powered, it'll connect the, the, the circuit and then you'll have this black wire. It'll power will be energized and it'll come out through the, uh, to the, to the load. Um, I'm using a, what is it, type K thermocouple? Or is it type P? No, I think it's type K. Um, so yeah, and this, this goes for my, my pressure cooker and it goes in a little fitting and I have a rubber O-ring that I replace the crush washer so I can remove it as needed. And uh, that's pretty much it. The, uh, the, the relay is mounted with a heat sink as you can see. The way that I mount it is I will, I cut a groove and then I drive, I drive the uh, this part, like one of these little gaps kind of, I drive the this, the plastic, in there. So it's it's wedged in there really solid. There's no screws or anything like that. I, this one I went a little bit too deep. So I ended up having to put a little bit of um, weather strip adhesive on top of it, just to try to fill that gap so it seals up a lot better. But this is not being used outdoors. This is in my garage. So uh, water tight is not an issue for me. Um, a pointer for, for cutting the hole, it's handy to have either a Dremel uh, with an attachment on it or a small um, router. So, and then once I get the hole cut out, I'll make the hole a little bit smaller and then I'll use uh, files to, uh, to, to square it off and get all the corners all shaped up. That works really well. <clears throat> um, that's pretty much it. Uh, these, this is called a DIN rail, by the way, if anybody's wondering. It's basically just little connections that uh, you can you can uh, connect two wires together very neatly, um, and they're pretty cheap. Here's the inside of it. You can see there's a you have your your two different circuits, and there's a bar in between. You can also get jumpers that jump between that screw hole. Each one of them has a screw hole, and you can use a jumper bar that jumps between the two, uh, however many circuits you need. I think they usually go like five or ten circuits, but you can you can trim them to size as needed. Um, these make really clean installs. They're they're rated for 40 amps, so uh, should work pretty well. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. Just make sure that if you're doing this, uh, double check all your wiring before you plug anything in. Uh, trace all your wires, and uh, if, if you don't know what you're doing, get some help and have, have a either a professional or, or somebody who knows something about electricity to, to help you out with wiring. They're, they're fairly simple, but uh, you, can, you can wire it up wrong and, and cause injury or death or fire or damage to your equipment. So make sure you uh, 
consult an electrician if, if you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Thank you for checking out the video. Make sure you subscribe. Take it easy.